This morning uh, we had 67 uh, bunnies that we had taken from Helmkin that have been spayed and neutered. Um, they've all been identified. This morning we caught them, uh, looked them over, gave them physical exams, gave them revolution, deworming, um, and uh, put them into cages to be put into a van uh, to be sent down to um, a sanctuary um, off of the island. Um, so again, uh, a group of volunteers that have taken time out of their morning, out of work, uh, to help out and to coordinate this effort. Uh, which initially was spearheaded by Dr. Lori Gaines. So uh, a group of very dedicated individuals to help out with this. The hope was that we could reduce some of those numbers, not just for the bunny's sake, but also for human safety's sake. Um, it's undermining the underpass. It's uh, a driving hazard when you go by there. If you've ever driven by Helmkin, you know how many bunnies there are. So it's both for humans and for bunnies. Um, we don't know what the future holds. We're hoping that people will respect the fact and maybe this will bring respect the fact that we're trying to do something here that will help uh, both humans and bunnies. Um, we're hoping that the numbers will subside. Uh, I don't know, maybe this project will start up again. There are a lot of inherent problems with trying to get these projects uh, on the go. There's a lot of hoops to jump through. Um, so hopefully we can expedite that process in the future as well. And so their journey began. The Helmican rabbits went over to Vancouver, down to Bellingham, Washington, where they would be picked up by Wings of Rescue, who would take them down to San Antonio, Texas, where they would soon be delivered to their forever home at the retired rabbit sanctuary.